Let's remind ourselves that a function's inverse can be looked at in two different ways. Algebraically, we simply swap the x and y variables. And we already know that we can use this method to show that the inverse of exponential functions are log functions. For example, f in terms of x equals 2 to the x. Our base is 2. Let's replace the f in terms of x with y. And now let's switch the x and the y to get the inverse. And if we logged both sides with our base 2, log base 2 of x equals y log base 2 of 2. That is the power rule. And we also remember that log base 2 of 2 is 1. And voila! y equals log base 2 of x. Same base, and we see that it is the inverse of our exponential function. Switching our consideration of inverse functions into a graphical sense, we recall that if our function looks like this, an example of an exponential growth function, the inverse would simply be a reflection around the line y equals x. And it looks like this, the inverse of our exponential growth function, and this is our log function, y equals log base 2 of x. Our y-intercept from the exponential function, that is 0, 1, becomes an x-intercept in the inverse, or log function, 1, 0. The asymptote of our exponential function, that was y equals 0, becomes an asymptote for the inverse or log function as x equals 0. And we can also see that regular reflection traits apply. That is, each point in the original exponential graph gets reflected straight across the y equals x line and end up at the same distance but on the other side of the line. And this is our log graph. Let's switch to an exponential decay function. To get the inverse, or log graph, we again look to reflect around y equals x. Thus, this would be our corresponding log function y equals log base 1 half of x. Our y-intercept from the exponential function, 0, 1, becomes an x-intercept in the inverse log function, 1, 0. Again, the x and y's just get flipped. The asymptote from the exponential function, that is y equals 0, again, becomes an asymptote for the inverse log function as x equals 0. Again, flipped. Again, we can see that regular reflection traits apply. That is, each point in the original gets reflected straight across the y equals x line and ends up the same distance but on the other side of the line. And this is our corresponding log graph. In this tutorial, we resorted back to our knowledge of both the shapes of exponential graphs and our definitions of inverse functions and we established a quick way to sketch a log graph. Whether in exponential growth or decay, we can simply reflect around y equals x. The y-intercept becomes an x-intercept. The asymptote of y equals 0 becomes an asymptote of x equals 0. And the general shape is easy to sketch from there, based on your knowledge of reflections.